Thilmy by six for me. We're underway. The Group 6 Grand Final is go for 2017. Campbelltown City defending the Leagues Club end of the ground in the opening 40 minutes. And they're running from right to left as we look at it on our radio dials. Campbelltown City have it now. That looks like the uh, front roller there. In, uh, PJ Leafy with it now. In fact, that was the winger in uh, Joey Piado taking it forward. Kangaroos off to a flying start. They're 38 metres out from their own line. Aaron Sweeney running to the, ro the right-hand side of the Thilmy defence. He'll play it two metres inside the Thilmy half. Only five in front, ten in from touch. Ryan Russell out of dummy half. That's not the first time we've said that. Penalty to Campbelltown City for a shoulder. Penalty to City for a shoulder. Yeah, not sure who you uh, saw. Uh, Sweeney target there in the uh, I reckon it was Jacob side. Loco. And, no, it was uh, actually Jake Mullaney. Ran straight at Jake Mullaney, and that was their uh, game plan was to shut down Mullaney. And I suppose when you've got a big body like uh, the sexiest man in league, um, Sweeney running at you. I'm not playing, mate. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to, you're not in the same class as, um, as Sweeney, Shen. Campbelltown City on the attack inside the quarter. Matty Jones, the veteran, takes it forward. He'll play it now. They're really compressed here on the left. They Thilmy. go to the We've right hand side. Jet Karam fires it out for a higher. Kohunui within two metres of the line. Barely 90 seconds gone on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers scoreboard. It's the grand final of 2017. Out of dummy half, a little scoop for the line. Did he get it down on the third effort? No. Pushed back millimetres from the line. 10 in from touch, eastern side of the ground, northern end. Comes back and across. Karam, the Sweeney trying to pop it out the back. He's drawn three and four maroon and gold shirts. They stop him nine metres out on the last. Arm goes up from referee Aaron Sheldrick. He plays it now, Sweeney. Back to Jai Karam. Flat ball there for Williamson. Do they know it's the last? I don't think they do. Williamson, it draws three, four, five. They stop him three metres out of turnover. I don't Filmy mind. holds on. I don't mind that play. He can risk, you know, putting a grubber dead and having a seven tackle set. Now they're defending uh, Thelmy coming off their own troll line. I think that's a good play. Yeah, it's Great. a better option than a, um, a bad kick and you get a re 20 a, tap with a seven tackle. Yeah, that's a um, much better option to run it. I said that earlier uh, today. Shannon Galland and Mark Dunn, thanks to MacArthur Insulation. Thank you to Dennis Hillier for supporting us during the finals. Our stats for the court tavern, the best cold pouring Campbelltown. Our referee's audio, thanks to AWPM Civil. Thank you to David Green and the team. Our major sponsor in 2017 has been John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, Queen Street, Campbelltown. The scoreboard reads nearly three minutes gone, no score on the board. This is the grand final of 2017. Mike Sheen, Mark Dunn, Shannon Gallant with you from the stadium. We could call it Arana Park and turn back the hands of time. Nettie Saleh kicks out of dummy half, picked up by Jet Karam. 40 out from his own line. Little bit of a stutter step goes to Shimmy Shimmy Shake, not getting through the line this time. On the halfway line, he'll play it now. To the right hand side of Thilmy's defence, Christian Tulua takes it forward for eight metres. That's how far inside Thilmy's territory they are. I'm watching them all point up Jake Mullaney in defence too, so Campbelltown City is definitely their game plan to be going at him. But Faye Garley plays it out of dummy half, Ryan Russell to the quarter. Dunny, make it quick there, 20 out on the attack. Yeah, uh, that was the game plan of Campbelltown City, was to uh, keep attacking Mullaney, tire him out. Uh, he, he, I knew that uh, was their play from Thursday. He made the tackle there as it comes back on the last. Williamson again, can he pop it out the back? He can. Being towed ahead, but it's too deep. Back to the 27 tackle set. Four minutes gone, no score on the board. Thilmy barely over halfway. Yeah, a bit unlucky there from uh, Berkey. He just um, didn't think he knew that the ball was at his feet and he just uh, accidentally kicked that dead. Certainly wasn't a, an intentional kick like that from, uh, from Josh Burke. Thilmy now, 30 metres out from their own line. Saleh takes it forward over the 40. Penalty. Penalty for a shoulder. One apiece for the court tavern. So Thilmy... Probably their first chance of the evening. Four so, and a quarter minutes gone. So, Shannon, um, have you ever played with Nettie? Nettie. Uh, Nadal Sailor? Uh, no, I don't think I have. No. Okay, he's had uh, quite a few clubs. I just thought... Um, no, he's been around a while. He was... Um, I played him earlier in the year, but I haven't played with him, no. Okay, yeah, because uh, just going back to a program I found earlier in the year from... Uh, was it 99? He was in the uh, May Pies 20 freezes. We'll see Sweeney on the ground. Penalty to Campbelltown City. Penalty to City for pushing off the man on the mark. Yeah, I think Big Sweeney's trying to um, 
win a uh, TV week Logie there. <laughs> and he's doing a good job of it in the process. 30 out, 20 in, Western side right on, well, just ticked over five minutes. I don't think they've realised they've stopped the clock here. I'd say, though, that Nettie's probably one of only five players I haven't played with on that Thelmy side, to be honest. There's quite a few out there, old West boys, that I've played with. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, Nettie's been around for a long time. He's um, been a good player for um, a, a lot of teams. So, let's just listen in here, AWPM Civil. Grand Finals, Philly, tell me, you've got the ball, you're on a roll, you're 30 out. I don't want to see you again tonight for a long game. Get your head in the game when I'm talking to you, don't worry about him. Come see, go away. Yeah, as I did say before the game. Yeah, Sweeney and Figure Tuza um, came together. That's debatable. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, boys. You're on your own there. That came from the back of the box somewhere. <laughs> Kick finds the line, seven inside the film here, half. Campbelltown City with possession. Russell, the tap, through Burke's hands for Sweeney, charges into Figa, Tuza and three others. They wrap him up 37 metres from the line. He'll play it now, Russell. Goes right side, Matt Jones tries to step through the line, nearly spins out the other side, the Whirling Dervish almost into motion. Yeah, good tackle by, out. Yeah. Good tackle by number one, uh, Ledbrook there. Second best made the tackle, Burke. 15 metres out from the line, 12 in from touch, western side, working to our left, six gone, first half. No score is yet for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. Jet Karam trying to dance his way through the line. He's knocked over 11 metres out, just to the left of the uprights. Then we are playing really compressed defence, aren't they, even on the try line. Jai Karam, back inside for Stone Cold, Kurt Austin. Five metres from the line's where he's going to play it on the last. Matt Jones puts it down. Here's a chance for the Roosters. Dane Craig with it now for the Roosters. 15, 16, 18 metres from the line is where he's going to play it on the first. They go to the left-hand side now. That looks like Loco taking it forward. He'll play it now. In fact, that's uh, Tonga High with it. 18 out from, uh, 28 out from his own line. Now it's Loco rolling forward, winds up that big frame of his for 10. Yeah, have you seen him without a shirt on? He's the biggest human I've ever seen. Jacob Loco I without a shirt. I haven't seen him. I haven't had the... Uh, I just got a kiss and make up for my comments the other week with uh, Big Jake when I said uh, he should be sitting on the sideline. <laughs> didn't like that, didn't he? Big Andy Fieger, twos up, back slammed into the Campbelltown Stadium turf. He wins the penalty. And there's a little bit of afters. Let's listen in, AWPM Civil. Kurt, come here, Aaron. Aaron, come here. Go away, I don't need you. Sorry, Andy. Listen. No, don't talk. You'll do yourself no good. Listen to me. Big game, and you're already here. Pull your head in, or I'll put... Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Pull your head in, or I'll do it for you, Aaron. Get your head in the game, and out of the crap. Uh, Kurt, one more, and you should be sat down. Okay, there's the caution. Se seven minutes gone. No score on the board. Referee Sheldon laying down the law. Referee, they, they demand respect, referees, but you can't be telling Blake to pull heads. <laughs> He's got, you know, you've got to give respect to get it. Pull your head in, mate. Make like a turtle, Sweeney. <laughs> As we see Jacob Loco winding up 25 metres from the line. First real chance for the Roosters tonight, working left to right. Flat ball there to Figatusa. No, it's gone forward. Looked like it was flat. The referee said it was... Uh, it was the wrong way. It's time for a break. Aaron, one more and you go to the bin. Simple. There's the caution. Yeah, well, that's up to um, Stone Cold, Curdy Austin to uh, control Big Sweeney there. Um, many, many have tried. None have succeeded, let me tell you. That's uh, Aaron Sweeney's biggest issue. If he can get control of himself, uh, you know, there's no stopping him, but it's just, you know, the, the little things. It's a one percenter Shen, in, in uh, rugby league. That's Which is pretty rich for me saying I've got a bit of a temper <laughs> myself, so I can't really... You weren't exactly yeah. a choir boy, were you, Mouse? Yeah, that uh, makes or breaks you, is the, is the little one percenters. That, um, the thing with me, but the refs are always wrong, so... That's... <laughs> right. Yeah, you never even... did anything wrong, as we see Chris Williamson... Badges off my uh, Christmas card list, too. The Roosters having to defend... There's PJ Leafy, knocks one out of the way in the form of second best Ledbrook. He'll play at five, six metres inside Thilmy territory. The Kangaroos have been camped at the left-hand end in the first half. They spin it out wide on the left-hand side for Kohunui. Kohunui, 12 metres inside Thilmy territory. 12 in from touch, eastern side. 
Back to the open side left. Matt Jones takes it forward. Two and three in the tackle there to stop him. 35 out. To the left-hand side they come. Burke puts it up. Nice high kick downfield. Chase is excellent. Jit Karam! Jit Karam! That was brilliant from the number one. Nine minutes gone. Kangaroos lead 4-0 for John Stoddham and co-lawyers. That was brilliant from the young custodian. I've got massive raps on this kid, Jet Karam. I played against him earlier in the year, and I, what I've seen from him, and he was taking two steps line coming out of their own end goal. He just does all the hard yards, and for him to do something like that, that just shows he's in the game no matter what. Uh, massive effort, great work. Yeah, it was, uh, he is... Um He's just improving um, from week to week. Jet. He's just uh, getting a better, uh, better and better. Um, hopefully, uh, there's a NRL club out there that'll um, that'll pick him up. I've seen worse, including myself. I was going to say an old Cowboys and West Tigers fullback, but uh, you beat me to it, champ. Mate, no, he's unbelievable. He does, you know, he does all the tough stuff. We, when he was running those two steps line, two step line against us this year. I just was looking at him going, there's something old. <laughs> I never would have done that, mate. Not a yeah, well, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too sure. I have to ask Mike when we're going to announce our, um, our, our team of the year. We might have to push that year. back a little later, uh, Mr. Dunn. But, um, yeah, um, I can tell you that um, on the on the team that I've selected, uh, Jet's in my team, in my 17. So that's how highly I think of him, Chen. Good stuff. Conversion from Chris Williamson was successful. Campbelltown City 6, Leeds Thulme nil. On the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers scoreboard, we've had 10 minutes of the grand final. Mike Sheen, Mark Dunn and Shannon Gallant bringing you the action from Campbelltown Stadium. Just looking at Mulaney, he looks a little ginger here standing on the wing. Just keep an eye on him. I'd be ginger too if I had Sweeney running at me early. <laughs> There's PJ Leafy taking it forward from the restart over the quarter. 23, 24 metres on the first run. That's a good start. Now Sweeney, the man of the moment, pops it round the corner for Matty Jones. That was a good offload from the big man. And the lock forward takes it to within 13 metres of halfway. Piado. Piado, they take him forward now on the next run. That's a great run from the young winger. I've got massive wraps on him. I've heard rumours he's heading to French rugby. He could be a massive loss for the competition. Williamson on the next run. Inside Thilmy territory. They've had all the possession in the first 15 minutes. We've only had 11 and a half. There's a nice high bomb on the last. Up it goes. Taken nicely by Blake Sutton. Sutton taken 15, 13 metres out from his own line. Look at them all walking back to uh, struggling here. K Campbelltown City, if they can ramp up here and have a great defensive set. Yeah, very compressed too. Yeah, um, Campbelltown City. blanket over him. Yeah, both teams. Um, very compressed. Uh, I think Thilme just needs to wake up a little bit, get the ball wide here, and uh, they'll run straight around the outside. Especially with blokes like uh, Sutton and um, Mullaney. Plenty of pace. The Roosters now spinning it wide on the right-hand side. Here's a chance downfield. The ball goes to ground, though. The ball goes to ground. Adam Campbell made the error. And he's slow to his feet, the winger. As we see Faya Gali now for the Kangaroos, 33 metres from the line. Russell to the left-hand side for Christian Chalua. Chalua to within 25 metres of the line now. 18 in from touch, western side. Jones to the right-hand side, good run from the veteran lock. I know you played with him or played against him a number of times, Shannon, at, uh, when he was at Phil, at uh, Phil Me before moving to City. Yep. Sweeney takes it forward. Matty Jones, a real workhorse for the City side this year. One of those ones you pick in your side every week because you know you're going to get the same effort out of him every single week. He runs a decoy this time. Jai Karam out the back. That's a flat ball. It's gone back. Referee says, no, it's gone forward. Stone Cold Kurt Austin put it down. So it'll be a knock-on from Campbelltown City. Thilme with a scrum feed. Ten out from their own line. They're holding on. 13 gone. Thilme trails 6-0 for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. Yeah, I just think um, Thilme just need to get the ball wide um, and get around these uh, Campbelltown City blokes. Like I see, um, Narnia Business, he's 20 metres in and he's um, he's playing on the wing. Um, he should be um, outside um, the Campbelltown City winger in Fogali. As we see Thilme bringing it off the scrum win. Driven back in, solid defence, two in the tackle inside the 10. Thilme really having to work hard here tonight. 
We spoke to Nathan Sutton. Unfortunately, we can't bring you the audio. We spoke to him earlier this afternoon, and they they strongly believe they will be a, a big threat in the game. They need that man to stand up, Nettie Soleil. 25 out from his own line. Out of dummy half, that's a great run up field. Jake Mullaney, outstanding from the captain, makes 15 metres. Nine short of halfway, he'll play it now. Soleil to the left-hand side. Payer fires it wide, finds uh, the second rower in Tonga High. Tonga High out the back for Loco. Loco with a stutter step, pops it back on the inside. I think that's Soleil again. He'll play it seven inside, Campbelltown City Territory. Nice work there from the Roosters. On the last, the kick. Great Charge pressure. down Josh Burke. If he gets an average bounce, he'll just about go all the way and score under the uprights to the 10. He gets there. Josh Burke, the charge down try. 15 gone. They're out by 10. It'll see. It'll be 12 in a minute. Yeah, um, great work there from Josh Burke. They're the one percenters. They're, they're, those are the one percenters. You kick pressures, those little things like that. They, they, that's what can happen. Yeah. Even you don't get the charge down, you're, you're, getting a, you're forcing a bad kick. Uh, that's just a massive effort, and uh, he's been paid, he's been rewarded for the, that one percenting effort. Yep, uh, great lead here from uh, Campbelltown City Kangaroos out to 10-0, uh, be 12-0 when uh, Williamson pops this over. But um, we did speak to Josh Burke earlier today, Mike. Um, just a shame we can't bring you that audio um, because of some audio issues, but um, uh, I taught him everything that he knows. As you keep telling us, Mr. Dunn, as you keep telling us. Well, I'm sure that he verified that. <laughs> well, he neither confirmed nor denied the rumour on the grounds he may incriminate himself. Yeah, no, he's um, a, a good kid, uh, Josh, and um, he's been around for a long time. For, he's only uh, in his mid-20s, but um, yeah, he can play. Certainly can play, Josh Burke, as we see the conversion attempt. Chris Williamson from behind, from in front of the posts. To make it 12 mil in favour of Campbelltown City. There's the whistle. 12 nil Campbelltown City leads Thurmere in the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final of 2017. No, it's not an error. They jumped out last week. They've done it again this week. 12 nil, 15 gone, first half. There's a lot of uh, blue and gold supporters that are very happy at the moment. So you see um, Alex Melville when um, Josh Burke picked that ball up and scored that try. He did the uh, Toyota leap. Oh, oh, what a feeling. <laughs> I might have to have a word to Mr. Melville a little later on this evening. He did uh, make an infamous comment uh, last year or the year before regarding Josh Burke uh, here at the stadium. So I might have to... Great run, great run. Back. That's a great run, Steve Fayogali. Matt Jones was pulled down in back play. Referee has seen it, and there's the whistle for the penalty. Yes, absolutely spot on that call there. Matt Jones was tackled well and truly without the ball as a support runner on the inside. Penalty. Very, very ill-disciplined, uh, Thilmy, in this opening uh, 20 minutes, Mike. Uh, very un like so maybe... Um, Campbelltown City's done their homework and um, uh, the newly inducted uh, Liam Fulton into the uh, life membership at West Tigers. He's got this side red hot tonight. Penalty count 4-2 for the Court Tavern. Best cold pour in Campbelltown. Let's go around the grounds. Mark Dunn, what's happening in RL uh, semi-final action? Uh, hasn't even started yet. Hasn't um, started. We're early. Yep, we're way early. Okay, okay, the boys are up by 20. <laughs> That's in his own lunchbox, folks. Jet Karam playing a game to remember. Pops it to Josh Burke. They're the try scorers for Campbelltown City. They're 22 metres out from the line on the attack. Russell, Jones, Leafy takes it forward. Goes laterally, only makes a couple of metres. Sloppy play the ball. Referee says no. Referee says no. It'll be a Thurmy scrum feed. 20 out from their own line, centre field. Eight, we've had 18 minutes, first half. It's City leading it by a dozen in the grand final. So. They need to stay positive here, Campbelltown City. Just heads down, get out, the, get the defensive uh, defence right here and uh, don't give any silly penalties away. Don't let Thilmy back into it. Yeah, but as I said, um, Thilmy needs to get to the outside. They need to use their pace. They've got uh, plenty of pace at their back line with Mullaney. Sutton, Campbell, none your business, um, plenty of pace. 
Speaking of Campbell, he's got the ball now from the scrum win. 25 metres out from his own line at the northern end of the field. Working left to right in the opening 40 minutes. Great defence there, Christian Talua, one-on-one. -on -one. That was a beauty on his opposite, Riley Narnbred. There's uh, a good run there. I think that's uh, uh, Sione Tovo out there. In, he swapped jumpers. He's in 19. As we see Neddy Soleil to halfway. Good run from the veteran back rower. Plays anywhere from... There's the penalty. Penalty to Thilmy. They needed that. They needed that. The count three all for the court tavern. That was uh, that was that was smart footy by Nettie there. They he seen that they were rushing up on that open side. And he's just shown and gone down the short side and, and left them all behind. Yeah, you're a very smart player, Nettie. Um, been around as I said before, been around for a long time. Very very smart. Mullaney at first receiver. The play almost broke down. None bred. Thought he heard a whistle. Stopped and went again. Mullaney ten out to the left hand side. Payer flat ball there. Think that might be the centre out there in. Uh, uh, that might be. <coughs> pardon me. The Roosters with it now. On the left-hand side, there's Loco within six or seven metres of the line. Comes back open side right. Tonga high. Now Payer shows it, shows it. Inside ball for Tovo. Tovo to the 10. Someone run a jacket out for uh, Adam Campbell. He's standing out here. Uh, he's getting cold on this wing. There's Nnedi Saleh within two metres of the line on the last. Arm goes up from Sheldrick. Biggest dummy half you've ever seen. Sione Tovo. Yep, that's why you don't have a shocking pass to Eddie, Eddie Payer. Payer on the last. Shocking pass to Eddie Payer. He puts it down on the last. It's a turnover for Thurlmy. Campbelltown City, 10 out from their own line in centre field. Not sure what uh, the Roosters were thinking there with Big Tovo going into dummy half. There's uh, plenty more options. Oh, great. great run great up run. field from Campbelltown City over the 30. They've the really turned again. up tonight to play in the grand final. Nathan Sutton would be nervous on the touchline. Assistant coach of the Roosters. Looked like a high tackle on Kohanui. Referee said it was all right. Five short of halfway. Figa Tuza there with two others, including Tovo. To the left-hand side, there's the other centre in Christian Tulua. They've been very good at the back this year, the centres for Campbelltown City. Three inside the Thilmy half. There's Jones taking it up the middle. There's the settler. Nothing oh, fancy yeah, from Eddie, Jones. Eddie, there's tackle four. You heard the call in the background for AWPM Civil. Josh Burkett, first receiver. Inside ball. That's Rucker Poru. In fact, that's uh, Rowie Poru, his yeah, brother. He's going on for uh, Big Sweeney. To the last now. The kick from Jai Karam on the left. Crossfield. Not a bad looking kick. Up they go. Campbelltown City come Got up it. with it. Hail Mary out the back. Prayers are not answered. Thilmy. Jordan Tonga High. Look out, Campbelltown City. Tonga High on the charge. Over the 40. Five short of halfway. Great run there from the second rower. Has played in the centres. They're all offside on the on both sides of the ruck. Referee lets it go. Loco tried to pop it out the back. Couldn't do so. Three short of halfway. Mullaney shows it, shows it, shows it. Still going, Jake Mullaney finds open space. Adam Campbell took his jacket off, puts the ears back, fence off Josh Burke. Jo Jet Karam stopped him 10 metres out from the line. Play the ball. Quick one, Mullaney. Now Craig, crossfield, crabbing. Good two-man tackle. Jones over the top five out. Here's a chance for the Roosters to strike back. Eddie Payer Shut sums up. it up. Long ball out wide. Loco finds his winger. Try to the Roosters. Justin Smith scores for the Roosters. 17 and a half to go in the first half. 12-4 for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. That was beautiful from the Roosters. Yeah, I'm glad uh, David Green's down there on the sideline. He must be listening uh, to our call. Uh, he often tells me that he does listen to our call on the sideline, Mike, because I've been calling for me to get the ball wide for the last 10 minutes and they finally done it and uh, the first time they do it they went from uh, sideline to sideline and um, the winger did what he's uh, paid to do and that's uh, score in the corner. Yeah the uh, centre just probably he was in two minds here and he rushed up and just someone with that uh, is it Eddie Pettiborn there is it uh, sorry he's Eddie Payer sorry uh, he his experience, he's just thrown the rainbow pass straight over the top of him there. So, yeah, just experience shown there. It was uh, good footy. Yeah, I thought that was quite a new that uh, actually came out of the line there. He didn't need to shoot out uh, like he did. He just left a gaping hole there. And, uh, yeah, it was well read by Eddie Payer. And uh, NRL experience with the uh, Rabbitohs um, pays off. I think, Phil, wish they had Eddie Pettiborn. <laughs> Be nice. I said Eddie Payer. No, I, said, I, said, I said Pettiborn. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
you can see um, as we listen on the uh, referee's audio there, uh, not sure what's going on with the uh, yes. referee and touch judges. But, a little uh, bit of banter there. Payer on the way. Kick is away. Unsuccessful. Score remains 12-4 in favour of Campbelltown City. Uh, over Thurmy. And it's uh, the John Stoneman Co. Lawyers scoreboard. We've got 15.55 remaining in the first half. Uh, I've just got to, um, the referee just asked, um, uh, what's his name, Tulua, or Kanui, sorry, where he was going to kick that left or right. Um, and he told him what side he was going to kick it. I would never tell him, uh, I would tell him the opposite side. As we see heavy defence there from Campbelltown City, Matt Jones and Yeah, he's not much Rucker of Matty Jones. Roo. Not much Figa of Matty Jones, that was a great hit. Viga Tuza takes it forward, 25 out from his own line. To the left hand side once again that looks like Dale Hood on in the 15 they got him back from holiday for the grand final as they take it up the middle now Sione Tovo over the 40 three short of halfway great set from the Roosters after points Saleh over the top can he get the bounce no he can't Williamson picks it up oh, and he's into open space Chris Williamson puts the years back Adam Campbell did well to cover him made the tackle conceded the penalty for the second effort Second effort goes against yeah, the I, Roosters. I agree with uh, Mouse here. Mouse is calling for a send in for a uh, professional foul, and I agree with him. It'd be hard to disagree with that. I actually thought Williamson lost that ball in the tackle, too. So if there was no second effort, it uh, could have been a scrum feed to um, fill me. But it was a great so, break from. Uh, is that Albert Hobbawati out there? That is Albert Hobbawati. Yes, oh, get the... me on his gym program. What's he <laughs> doing? That's a big shirt, isn't it? <laughs> As we see the restart, Rowie Poru inside the quarter. Good run from the youngster. 13 metres from the line, 10 in from touch. Russell, Burke, back inside. There's Raka Poru in the 15. 11 from the line, 15 in from touch, western side. Back to Burke. Burke off the right, stepping, trying to find a way through the line. Can he get it out the back? No, not this time. 8 metres from the line, 20 in from touch. The Chinese dairy farmer call comes out from Sheldrick. Back to the right-hand side. Jet Karam. Vijay Karam. Out deep. There's Kohunui. Trying to step through the line. Pops it out the back for Stone Cold. Kurt Austin. Kept alive. There's J feet. Jai Karam. Jai Karam has the twinkle toes on tonight. Three metres from the line. He'll play it now. That'll be tackle four. To the left-hand side. There's Rucker Poru. Within three metres of the line. Arm goes up from Sheldrick. Last tackle. To the left-hand side. Burke, Williamson, crash ball, wrong option. Turnover, last tackle. It's all right, they're defending, coming off their line again. So, Campbelltown City ramp up here, get a great defensive set. Yeah, tell me you can throw a blanket over him again. Um, not sure why. Um, they just look tired, tell me. Looks like Luke Bennell about to go on in jersey 16 for the Roosters. With 13 minutes remaining in the first half. Good run out of dummy half. Penalty to the Roosters. Yeah, Mark hard, is not square. Hard for the Bedell boys as um, former Campbelltown City players uh, come through the junior ranks with Campbelltown City, both uh, Jay and Luke. Kick finds the line. Five short of halfway. Western side of Campbelltown Stadium. 12.45 remaining to the break. Campbelltown City leads it 12 points to four in the jo Norman L. Day Cup Grand Final for Bargo Sports Club. In 2017, Jake Mullaney pulled down two short of halfway. To the left-hand side they go. Sione Tovo with a show and go. But those dummies aren't sold at Babies R Us. Eight metres inside Campbelltown City Territory. He plays it now. Soleil to the left-hand side. Payer, short ball wasn't the right option for Tonga High. He's put it down. Campbelltown City have it. Kahunui. Hitting a good tackle, 32 metres out from his own line. I think the Campbelltown City defence has just got Thelmy looking up before they even catch the ball. They know that Campbelltown City have turned up here today. To the left-hand side they go, to the middle of the park. There's Joey Piato once again. He's an outstanding young player, Joey Piato. He'll play it now, five inside Thelmy territory. Slow play the ball now. It's been an up-tempo game. There's Rowie Poru upended under the rib cage. Dane Craig with a special. That was outstanding. Burke punches it into the line. That's a great kick downfield. Sutton 
Can he find his way around? Fayagali, he can. He goes to ground. You heard the call, don't drag him. That was Joey Piado making the tackle. Or was it Burke, in fact? As we see the Roosters coming out of their own ends. You don't want to give Sutton any room. He's um, he's one of those ones. He's like, he's like E.T. He can uh, get out of bed and turn the light off. And uh, he'll be back in bed before the light goes out. Before the lights go out. As we see... Uh, Plenty of uh, defence coming from... Uh, yeah, big shoulder there from uh, Rucker Peru. Outside again. We see the ball to the left-hand side. Great to get the feedback from those listening tonight. Thank you for your support. Hope you're enjoying the call. Grand final day, Group 6 League Live from Campbelltown Stadium. The Roosters under pressure. Payer under pressure gets the kick away. Gets it downfield in the middle of no man's land. He could have got to that on the full end. He, he would have got another 10 or 15 metres. Yeah, I don't think he's too worried, Jet Karam. <laughs> yeah, just not sure that the kick was the right option there. They had numbers on uh, on the right hand side again. Feel me? There's Fayo Garley. Steve Fayo Garley's been an excellent signing in the last couple of years for the Kangaroos. 15 short of halfway centre field. 10 and a quarter to the break. Kangaroos lead at 12 4 in the grand final. They're 50 minutes away from breaking a 34-year drought. Yeah, you've got uh, Matty Jones coming off and uh, Jaden Lang going on for Campbelltown City. Not sure why you take Jones off. That, that, that is a surprise to see him come off, but Lang is on in 19 to the right-hand side. There's Jet Karam. Jet Karam up the middle within 15 metres of the line. He'll play it now on the last arm up from Sheldrick. Russell hailing a taxi. Doesn't get one this time. Jai Karam through the hands. Kohunui on the right-hand side needs to get the ball away. He only goes into touch. Wrong option there. It'll be a turnover on the last. Yeah, sorry, Mike, but uh, Phil me just looked busted. I'm just looking, they've got a lot of hands on hips. Uh, not sure what they've done for training this week, but um, whatever it is, it, uh, it hasn't really worked. Ten minutes to go in this first half, um, and they've got hands on hips. It's been a high-tempo first half of the, the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final. Getting plenty of feedback. Thank you, everybody, for your support tonight and during the season. We do appreciate it. I hope it's all positive feedback, it, Mike. It has all been positive, although we did get a caution. Make sure to keep you away from the buffet out the back. Keep him away from the Jimmy Buffett, otherwise we're in trouble. Yeah, And, and that came from a man who knows all about the Jimmy Buffett, let me tell you. Oh, okay, yep, I know. I'm pretty sure I know who you're talking about. You, you'd be right, too. As we see the Roosters over the quarter. They'll play it now, 20 out from their own line. That was almost a forward pass, but held on at the right moment. The Roosters over the 30 now. They really need to knuckle down the last eight and a half minutes. If they can get back within a converted try, they're a big chance. As I'd like to see, see uh, Mullaney and Sutton just have uh, some quick feet in and around them uh, Campbelltown City forwards uh, just for one inside or two ball, sets. Inside ball. Oh! Mullaney crunched. They read that like tomorrow's front page, but Blake Sutton was taken out. That'll be a penalty to Thurlme. 5-4 the count for the court tab in Campbelltown. Yeah, well, that was the play um, that I called for about uh, four seconds before that happened. I told you, and I'll keep telling you, I am a genius. Mystic Mac. <laughs> As we see the kick find the line, 25 metres out. I think it's a harsh penalty, though. I mean, he's, if he leaves him, he's straight through the line. You've got to, you know, it's not like he's hitting him three seconds after he's released the ball. No, it was all simultaneous, wasn't it? There's Dale Hood taking it forward. In fact, that's Benell. That's Luke Benell yeah, within 13 metres of the line. Soleil out of dummy half. No, he's not. That was a poor play the ball. Referees called it. Scrum feed to City. 10 out from their own line at the southern end. And the old chestnut being pulled out there by the referee. The protests coming from Phil Mir. And the Steve Edge approach to uh, to any sort of sledging. It's a good look at scoreboard too. If you're a blue and gold supporter, it most certainly is. It reads Campbelltown City 12, Phil Mir 4, 7-10 remaining in the first half of the grand final. The ball fed and won out to the right-hand side for Kohanui. Takes it forward, only makes a couple of metres. The, ro the Roosters will be looking to force a mistake here. In fact, there's Kohunui now. It was Tallulah on the first. Kohunui now plays at 23 out from his own line. They try and truck and trail a penalty up the middle. Good run there from Jet Karam. Makes 15, 20 metres. He's 10 short of halfway when he plays it. Comes back to the left-hand side. Jaden Lang charges into the line. 
right in the middle of Campbelltown Stadium. Russell out of dummy half scoots for 10 metres. Jai Karam out wide to the right hand side. There's speed to burn from Joey Piato. Not held. Play on the call. Inside the quarter. Puts the ears back. Joey Piato. Was he hitting the high tackle? He gets the second effort. And that could, there's going to be afters here. We'll listen in. AWPM will bring you the audio. I got it. I got it. Boys, there's a play it down, play it down. Have a look, have a look. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back. I didn't get a number for the slot. Sorry about it, mate. Sorry about it, mate. We've had nothing bad, so let's listen. Got it. Do you need us? No, I've got it. Big and Jake. Listen to me, listen to you, listen to me, listen to me. It's that close, but it's a You're lucky that the play broke down. Right. Have you? You've been listening to me. You can't do it, mate. It's not normally in your game. It's going on report. I don't know why, but that's what they want now. <laughs> yeah, but he's on the ground. Doesn't matter how you go in, mate. You can't go under the swing. Yeah. All right. There's the caution from referee Sheldrick and the penalty for the high tackle. And the swinging arm late. Penalty count five all. Ten metres out. Tap taken. Jaden Lang low. Burrowing run, makes six, seven metres. He's only a couple out from the line when he plays it. To the left-hand side, Burke out the back for Jet Karam. Jet Karam, broken line for Thelmy. Can't get through on this occasion. Three metres out, just in line with the left-hand upright. Five minutes remaining first half. Roosters up by eight. To the left-hand side, Burke slipped at the key moment. Can't get the ball away this time. Wrestled to ground. Two in the tackle. Russell out of dummy half goes low. Can he get it down? No, he'll be driven back. Held up two metres out from the line. A good tackle there from the Roosters. Four and five there to shut him down. There's a good run. That's uh, Talua. Christian Talua's over. He's over for the Roosters. They trail 16-12. The Roosters, Campbelltown City are in. It's looking good for the Blue and Golds. Yeah, I think that was actually Rowie Peru that uh, scored that try. Um, so yeah, great thinking. He had uh, he was unmarked. Just uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with Campbelltown City tonight. Every single run that they take is with intent. There's no worrying about looking for offloads. Every it's just get through the line. How do I get through the line here or get my team a quick play of the ball? And that's every one of them. The backs, the forwards, a whole lot of them. And that's what's really getting them quick play of the balls here. Plenty of meters up the field, penalties, and, and you know we're seeing it on the scoreboard now. It's uh, great footy from Campbelltown City. They've really turned up the play today, and it's good to see. Yeah, they have. Um, just uh, I see the reason that Matty Jones came off. Um, the, giving him the old Paul Siren and take around the head uh, just to keep those brains in. Um, yeah, good play, Matty Jones. That, uh, if it's the one here, I think it was Christian Tolua with the green boots. Uh, well, he came running in from this side, so it wasn't him. Okay, we'll go with uh, with, uh, with Polaru. Yeah, it's um, Rowry Peru. Rowry Peru. Yeah, he's got the... Uh, the KFC on his arm, and okay. I can't believe that um, Williamson missed, has missed that. That's, wow, um, that is a surprise. Williamson normally very reliable. Hopefully that doesn't come back to uh, bite him. Yes, well, he had an excellent record last week. I don't think he missed one in the preliminary final win over Picton. 16-4 the scoreline, 3-10 to halftime at Campbelltown Stadium. The grand final of 2017 on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. As we get the next passage of play underway. Off the long run. That looks like Jaden Lang to the quarter and over. Good run there from Lang. He'll play it 22 metres out from the line. To the left hand side once again. There's PJ Leafy back on the park over the 30. Makes another dozen. He'd be 14, 15 short of halfway when he plays it. Russell out of dummy half. There's Paul Rule with the Rowie variety. He makes a good run upfield. Five short of halfway. Williamson, that's more like it from the veteran back rower. Ten seasons with the club and playing in a grand final tonight. He probably wouldn't have dreamt it. 38 metres from the line. Russell, the veteran, to within 29 metres of the line when he plays it on the last. Good set here from the Kangaroos after points. Burke just decides we're going for the touch line. Smart play there from Josh Burke as the two minute warning approaches here at Campbelltown Stadium. It's the Kangaroos 16, Thelmy 4. They went 70 metres nearly on that set. You know, well they, they caught it on the 10 and they've gone, yeah. That's, that's just the intent with all their runs. They're just so, 
aggressive uh, Campbelltown City. They'll be really in trouble here. They've got to turn it around. Yeah, not sure. Um, what what do you say if you're if you're Coach Sutton or Coach Mullaney? What do you say to your players at half time, Shane? Mate, to me, I, I, I'd be a bit shell shocked. I, I, I myself, I'm even shell shocked with how Campbelltown City are playing. I just they, I'm really sh- surprised with how they're playing. They are playing fantastic footy. The restart now from the scrum wing. I guess it all, all just starts with defence. You just got to turn up, you know, get back into that grind. Uh, just go set for set and try and win the 100. The 100 meaning play down their end. Play the footy down in their end. Start to defence. We see the Roosters now 15 short of halfway. That's Shannon Galland and Mark Dunn for MacArthur Insulation. I'm Mike Sheen bringing you the call of the 2017 Group 6 Rugby League First Great Grand Final. The Norman L Day Cup will be presented to one of these teams tonight in approximately 45 minutes time. Will it be the Blue and Gold Army of Kangaroos? Or will it be the maroon and gold from Thelmere? They're on the attack here, the Roosters, but the ball goes to ground. Campbelltown City come up with it through Josh Burke. Referee says no advantage. So it'll be a scrum feed just short of halfway, 20 in from touch, western side. Yeah, they keep running over, Thelmere. They need to run um, some unders. Lawrence. You can't just keep going over, over, over. Um, Campbelltown City, too smart for that. They um, slid well in defence there. We've got time off here, only a matter of... 30 odd seconds until half time. Uh, got a comment here suggesting how good Campbelltown would be if uh, if you were playing Shannon instead of uh, coaching the juniors. Uh, we wouldn't be any better because I tell you what, Jet Karim's a way better player than I am. So um, and, and that's nothing. That's no no disgrace to admit that. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm like I said, I've got massive wraps on that kid, and I'm a th- I'm a 31 year old uh, slow, small, bald <laughs> man. I don't remember you being slow, mouse. So I think you're being a little bit generous there. Uh, I saw you until you had that injury at uh, Burnley that day. You were in uh, pretty good form yourself, so don't sell yourself short. Jai Karam not selling himself short. I suspect that uh, that text coming through suggesting something similar. As we see the Kangaroos 20 metres out from the line. As we see the Kangaroos to the right hand side. The Stone Cold Kurt Austin looking for options. Fires it back. Risky pass. Jet Karam. Little chip and chase. Not the right option. Ball goes to ground. Penalty City. Penalty City for a shoulder. Time is up. I think uh, all the Campbelltown City pull. Um supporters were even pointing at two there i can see uh, big sweeney down there uh putting the two fingers up for the peace sign so i'm glad that um he's at peace now um and still not uh, yelling and screaming at uh, the opposition players so chris williamson has signaled that it will be let's just listen in here awpm civil bring it out bring it out listen to me listen to me you have done two stupid things that normally you haven't done for the last six weeks. That's in your head, not mine. Okay, get your head in it. You're not even playing the game, mate. Come on. You know what you did. Don't turn around. You play the ball, not the player. There's the caution to Neddy Saleh. So time is up here at Campbelltown Stadium. It is half time after this kick. You would imagine it will be 18 points to four in favour of Campbelltown City. Chris Williamson, 10 metres out, directly in front at the northern end to make it 18-4 in favour of the Kangaroos. He does, that is the score. Let's take a break at half time. The grand final is on the line. We're halfway home. City leads at 18-4 at the break. We'll be back in a moment with the second half. They zone in on him when he gets on. I'm just and looking at the bench we're to off. see who's up for the Rooster, the Kangaroos as we get the second half underway. 40 minutes of 2017 Group 6 Rugby League remaining. Can the Roosters fight back or will the Campbelltown City side break a three decade long premiership drought? We'll find out over the next 40 minutes. I'm Mike Sheen, Mark Dunn, and Shannon Galland alongside for the call of the grand final. Phil me running right to left. Defending the league's club end in the last 40 minutes of 2017. Yeah, six up, six all the NRL. Thank you, Jordan Tongahai. Tongahai, Tongahai to the corner. Takes on the fullback. Can he get it away? No, he can't. He had Jacob Loco on his shoulder. 
Salai to the right hand side. There's Payer. Now Mullaney. They've come out with intent. Dane Craig. Craig for the line. Can he roll it over? No, he's going to be held up. Held up over the line back to the 10. Inside a minute gone. First half. Thelmier have come to play. Yeah, obviously, uh, whatever was said at half time has uh, worked for Thelmy. No doubt I'll, there is I'd, a ring. I'd go through the hands. Payer puts a dad kick through. Blake Sutton, was he taken out? It's going to go dead. Referee's going to say penalty city. Penalty city. Not sure what that was for. Yeah, he's going the other way then. Inside the 10. Inside the 10, the call. Yeah, I think if that was going the other way, Shannon, it uh, would have been an eight point try or so, a penalty try because um, he was definitely taken out, but uh, something's, something's pretty quick. Kick will find the line for Campbelltown City. Opening two minutes of the first of the second half. Kick finds the line, 37 metres out from the City line. They're running left to right. Defending the Athletic Centre end in the second half. To the left of your radio dial. Out of dummy half, he's Jet Karam. He's been dynamite in the first half tonight. Can he continue that for another 38 minutes? He's yeah, down. He hasn't moved. The Chinese dairy farmer has been called for. We've got time off. 37.55 to go. Dunny, that NRL score around the grounds for the Court Tavern, Campbelltown? Yeah, 6 all. Uh, Cowboys in Parramatta. Not that anyone really cares. There's a better game for here at uh, Kempton Stadium. This has been a cracker tonight, boys. I'm Sorry, t- Shannon Keys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put 50 on him here, I think. This has been a cracking game so far tonight. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank this sponsor for the 2017 season of Bogo Sports Live, MacArthur Sports Radio.com. Five or six country rugby league. Why is Bogo during the summer months? Yeah, it's been a great season. Bogo Sports Live, 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 Bogo Shire still. Kangaroos work towards halfway. I'll get Shannon to take over. And <laughs> United Brewery. It's all right. Can I'll, I put my Rab's voice on? Or I'll only be 30 seconds, boys. We're all good. Just make um, some yeah, minor good. running repairs there. Yeah, good hit up there from uh, Chris Williamson um, as he plays it to um, uh, Ryan Russell. Chris Virk inside to Arawi Paru. And he's tackled 30 metres out from the line. We've solved our technical problems for the time being. Didn't affect our broadcast, thankfully. As we see Burke putting it high into the night air. Someone attack the ball, please. Anybody want it? No. Being contested. Tap back by Campbelltown City. Thelmy come up with it through Eddie Payer. 20, 22, 25. Good run there, Eddie Payer. Still not stopped. Eventually tackled 32 metres out from his own line. I might make a comeback next year and play fullback. Um, at least I'll attack the ball. Um, all 160 kilo of me. As we see, that looks like uh, Tonga High taking it forward over halfway by about seven or eight metres. Eventually cartwheeled to ground. He'll play it now. Soleil dummy half. Goes himself this time. Looked to the right-hand side, but went himself back towards the left. He's 31 metres out, 10 in on the western side of Campbelltown Stadium. On the left-hand side for the Roosters. Back they go, right side, Tonga High. High ball for Payer. Decided to take the ball himself and run it up. He'll play it 15 inside. Campbelltown City Territory. The Roosters need to be the next to score. That is an understatement. High ball there for Mullaney. Mullaney nearly got through the line. Pulled down 28 metres from the line. On the last. Out of dummy half they go. Left hand side. Sutton puts it high on that right hand side. And well taken there. I'm assuming that was Jet Karam at the back. And he's going to be stopped. Seven metres out from his own line. Ten in from touch. Eastern side. On the city left. Working left to right as we look at it. There's Fayagali with the man bun. Not a fan of the man bun. But we'll see him with it for the remainder of tonight. I would be if I could grow one. <laughs> Joey Piata. Piata, good run from Imagine uh, Liam Fulton with a man bun. That's just a thought that nobody needs, especially at this time of night. PJ Leafy, I'm sorry to all the children listening. You d- you'll have nightmares for the rest of the night. As we see the, ro- the Roosters now defending. There's a good run from Rowie. Rowie Polru. He'll play it five short of halfway. 20 in from touch, eastern side of the ground. Back to the open side, right they come. That was a flat ball for Hanui. Kicks on the last. Not a bad looking kick. Going to be taken on the full there by Justin Smith. Smith inside the quarter. Ducks one. Still going Smith. Gets wrestled to ground by Stone Cold. Kurt Austin on the 30. Kohanui 
adding his weight to the tackle. Yeah, Sweeney just went back on for Jaden Lean. A um, bit strange, less than um, just over four and a half minutes in the second half. So unless Jaden Lean's injured, um, probably wouldn't have needed to um, make that change. There's a good run there from uh, second best Ledbrook. Five short of halfway. He'll go to left hand side. There's a good run there from Dale Hood. Kevin has you have to be careful here. Their, their, their intent in defence has definitely dropped since the first half. So, um, you know, they want to give too much ball to, to Thelmere and keep putting that pressure on in defence. Mullaney kicked to space. Get Karam was there to clean up inside his own team. Beat the first tackle but couldn't beat the second. 13 out from his own line. Faya Gali out of dummy half. Good run from him. Up the quarter. Referee says it was across the shoulders. Looked high from here. Referee said it was good. Right on the quarter in the centre of Campbelltown Stadium at the northern end. Joey Piardo for eight metres. He's 22 short of halfway when he plays it. Out of dummy half. That looks like Tillua going for a run with the green boots. He'll play it 15 short of halfway just to the left of centre field. There's Rocker Powerou with it. Now good run there from Rocker. He'll play it. In fact, that's, uh, I think that might have been Rowie. There's Aaron Sweeney. Is he going to kick? He does kick. He kicks backwards. Joey Piatto with the second effort. It was not the most conventional end of the set. I think Sweeney's handed in his kicking licence and membership of the front rowers union. As we see a chance here for Thelmir. Sutton, Sutton puts on the moves. He should save them for the order to at West afterwards. He'll play it now, five short of halfway. Out of dummy half. They go across Justin Smith up the middle. Good two-man defence there from the Roosters. He'll, from the Kangaroos, he'll play it for oh, sure. They must have heard the uh, intensity is lifted a little bit in uh, defence, uh, the city side. Mullaney, a flat ball there, couldn't break the line. That was uh, Dane Craig with it now. Ten inside. Film is attacking half. Javon Hill's on now. Figa Tuza winds up that frame, runs into it. At, uh, Aaron Sweeney plays it 30 metres out from the line, just to the right of centre field. Payer across to the left hand side there's uh, Jacob Loco wrestles off one runs over the top of Stone Cold Kurt Austin he's 23 metres from the line on the last out of dummy half little chip over the top is a nice one it'll set up in the end goal Jet Karam takes it dead takes it dead line drop for the Roosters and I think we've got a problem with referee Sweet uh, with referee Sheldrick here Sniper. I think he's in trouble I, I have not seen a referee replaced in a grand final, probably going back to the 1980s. Yeah, so um, uh, Polly Dent should be uh, still dressed, ready and to ready. go. Straight away, an injection of energy from Jay, Jay Bunnell, um, all, uh, Yeah, come in. He, he took a few uh, great, got some great, great hit ups from the forwards when he first got on, and then he's put a little dab in and got himself a repeat set. So. One. That's what you're going to get from him here. Mullaney, 15 metres out from the line. 15 in from touch, east inside. Working to our left. Figa Tuza up the middle. Runs straight at Aaron Sweeney. They've got a personal vendetta tonight, those two. He plays it nine metres out to the left-hand side. Payer out the back for Sutton. Sutton for Loco. That's a beautiful rugby league try to Justin Smith in the corner. That is a beautiful rugby league try. Justin Smith puts it down. It's 18-8, kick to come. We've got eight and a half minutes gone in the second half of the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final. Yeah, so Jacob uh, Loco, um, he must listen to what we say, um, passing the ball there to the winner, um, because Loco could have scored himself. And um, we've seen Maddie, Maddie Jones going back on. A lot of talk um, with the touch judges, I'm uh, not sure. I don't think they know what they're talking about. But, uh, I, I, I'm concerned about uh, referee Sheldrick here. That's the second time he's done a, a stretch in the last minute or so. This is actually becoming a... Uh, He'll never leave that down. <laughs> I'm sure I won't let, I won't let him anyway. Oh, he, he needs got, some uh, pickle juice. So it sounds like a cramp for referee Sheldrick. We'll uh, keep an eye on that over the next five or ten minutes. Thirty and a half minutes remaining. Eddie Payer to make it an eight-point game for the Roosters. What can they do here, Thelmy? 
Eddie Payer. 24 out. Three in. Sends it on its way. You heard the call in the audio for AWPM Civil. Away to the left. That's exactly what it was. We see the, yeah, I think the uh, two, two touch judges, we apologise for um, some of the language, some of the language from, the, that we're from the two touch judges. I just don't think they realise that um, their audio is um, going Filtering out. through to us here, yes. Yeah, or, and straight on to the um, Game of Day DVD. <laughs> so, apologies there if, uh, if you did pick that up as we see Mullaney from the restart. 27 metres out from the line. They trail by 10, 29 and a half minutes remaining. Plenty of time for the Roosters. Two tries. Puts them back in front. One makes it very, very interesting. Yeah, plenty of numbers on um, this side of the field too. They come the left-hand side. There's uh, second best Ledbrook taking it forward. Nine short of halfway. That's Jack for everyone not familiar. As we see a good run there from Jay Bonnell. Up to halfway. He'll play it on the stripe. 20 in. Western side. Comes back for Payer's kick now. Punching kick low. It will find... Steve Fagali traps it on the leg, flicks it up onto the hand, and he runs into the line, 20 metres out, 20 in from touch, and wins the penalty in for a second effort in the tackle. So one all the count in the second half for the court tavern, and it's 7-6 overall in favour of the Kangaroos. So just, yeah, sorry, Shen, um, just to cut you off, just when, when the players come together like that, what do you talk about when both teams come together like that? Yeah. Is it like how many ales you're going to have after? Or? Yeah, well, that's it, especially from Jay Bunnell because he, he'd be looking forward to Mad Monday after this, but he, he doesn't go on Mad Monday. He goes on Mad Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. He, <laughs> Possibly into the weekend. Yeah, that's Sun, right. He's, Sunday, he's a special. Sunday. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he, he'd be really looking forward to it. He would have just been over there telling the boys, come with us if you want. Yeah, we used to talk about um, how many ales we're going to have um, and where we're going to go when um, we used to come together like that. <laughs> As we see the Kangaroos now, seven short of halfway on the first tackle. Now Aaron Sweeney on the second to the middle of the ground, right in the centre of Campbelltown Stadium. There's four Maroney gold shirts there to stop him. He'll play it now. They go left-hand side over the top of Jones, who's back on the field for Josh Burke. Burke within 40 metres of the line when he plays it now. Back to the right-hand side, there's Jones with the tape around the ears. Out the back now, Jet Karam puts the kick through on the... That's not the last tackle, that's a great kick there. As Justin Smith takes the tackle, 12 out from his own line on the western side of the ground. Back to the open side, right they go, uh, uh, Jacob Loco taking the run. He'll play it 22 metres out, and they're going to tell him to go back to the quarter and play it. And just, again, just ex exchanging ple pleasantries there. I think they were just talking about whose shout it was um, after yeah. the game there. <laughs> I was going to say, you wouldn't have been angry at Sweeney. No one gets angry at Sweeney. No, no never not. seen. And, and you'd know about that. People never get angry with you, do they, Mass? Nah, no way. You, you never had that in your illustrious career. As we see the Thormier side through figure twos, a 32 out. 40-20. Out of dummy half. Jay Bonnell, good kick downfield, but it's going to be cleaned up there by Jet Karam. Takes on the Thilmy defensive line, doesn't win that battle. Stopped 28 metres out from his own line. 18 in from touch, eastern side of the ground. On the Pembroke Road side. Back towards the middle, there's Tulua with it now, the centre. He's been good tonight. 24 metres out from, 34 metres out from the line. Piato, another strong of, uh, player in the back line for the Kangaroos. He'll play it four short of halfway. To the left hand side once again. There's a good one that looks like uh, Kurt Austin taking it up. Stone Cold within 39 metres of the line. In fact, that was Williamson, his second row partner. Now they put it through their hands. Good defence there from Phil Mir. Tonga High over the top making the tackle. 33 metres from the line is where he's going to play it. On the last, Jai Karam, what's he going to do? On the left, sends it high into the night air. Does anybody want it? Smith goes up for it, knocked back by Campbelltown City. That's a dangerous tackle. Referee sees knock on Campbelltown City. It'll be a turnover. Turnover on the last. And that was Kohunui who got up high to take that ball for the Kangaroos. 15 out from the line, Phil Mir, trailing by 10. Figatuza, referee sees across his shoulder. 22 out, he'll play at 20 in. Out of dummy half, good run, Adam Campbell trying to find a weakness in the 
City defence still going. Campbell makes eight or nine metres. He'll play it on the 30 in centre field. Looks like time off here. Campbell's gone down. I tell you something. Dane Craig for Thelmy. He's playing out on the right edge for, for Thelmy tonight. He's um, all the footy I play with him. He, he's been a hooker. Uh, a couple of months ago, everyone was putting on Facebook uh, who their best players, best team they ever played with. Yeah. He was 100% in my side, without a doubt. All the players that I played with throughout my career, he was on. He was, I think I named it, 14. He is an unbelievable hooker. I, I think he's wasted out on the edge, and especially in this competition where a good, a good dummy half that can get out and really do some damage. Um, yeah, I just think if he's if he's in dummy half here tonight, things could be a lot different, I reckon. Yeah, I can answer that for you, uh, Shannon. Um, talking to Coach Sutton um, a few weeks ago uh, and to David Green, the manager of the filming side, the reason that he doesn't play hooker is because he's too fast for the referees uh, in this competition and they don't... The referees don't allow him to play at the speed that he wants to play at, so that's why he's got to play uh, out a little bit wider. OK. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. But, yeah, I just think they you know, lose quite a lot. With yeah, well, the, obviously, you know, over the last few years being involved with the Magpies, um, I've watched uh, what you, you play, and I watched Dane play at hooker, and um, he is an exceptional hooker. Jacob Loco with an outstanding solo run there, mate, about 15 metres for the Roosters. Eight short of halfway. Payer across to the right hand side that's Dale Hood with it Hood can he pop it out the back he can there's that man Craig playing in the back row even though he's got the number nine on Salaya dump in fact it'll be Jay Bonnell at dummy half now Mullaney Mullaney runs into his own man play on the call got the ball away that was marginal referee said it was okay it goes into touch though the flick pass and the referee is going to pack down the scrum five short of halfway 20 in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. 24 minutes remaining in the grand final. Campbelltown City 18, Thelmy 8 for John Stoneman and co-lawyers. Yeah, just wondering whether uh, Alex Melbourne and Chris Noon have got any uh, fingernails left. <laughs> I think they're down to knuckles and they're probably up to their second or third knuckle. Yeah, well, I, I no, noticed... Knowing those two... Yeah, I noticed Melbourne's pulled all his hair out. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of Mark Dunn's mouth, Mr Melville. That came from him. Oh, yeah, drop me in it. Oh, uh, you're on your patent alone this time, buddy. <laughs> you're on your patent this time. Uh, he's doing a good job at uh, no. Illawarra Sports High too. You've done um, a very good job, Coach there. Melville. Yes, loving life down in the Illawarra makes the trip up to the Macarthur to support his beloved Roos every week and assist the club where possible. As we see Campbelltown City just short of halfway, there's a good run from Jones over the stripe by about four metres. He'll play it now. There's PJ Leafy stepping off the right. Good work there from the big man. The young front rower, he's been very impressive. And he plays it now, 42 metres from the line. To the left-hand side, Burke. Now Williamson. Williamson nearly breaking through the line. Yeah, they're Good still, they're still running out. at uh, Mullaney. Referee's ruled that he lost it in the tackle. Yeah, he got the call from the touch judges there. Looked like a uh, filmy player was around the legs, though, of uh, Jones, so I think that might have been a little bit harsh. It's good to see Campbelltown City um, still employing that tactic of uh, running at uh, Jake Mullaney. The Roosters trailed by 10 with 22 and a half minutes remaining in the grand final. I think the engravers slowly warming up his... Uh, his uh, needle to etch a name into the Norman L Day Cup for 2017. Will it read Campbelltown City or will it read Filmy? We'll find out over the next little while here at Campbelltown Stadium. Blake Sutton out of dummy half doing his best for the Roosters. Looks like Riley Narnbred's gone down with cramp. To the right hand side, the Roosters here. Over the halfway line, that's a good run there. That looks like the front rower in, uh, uh, that's not Fergatuza. That might be second best Ledbrook with it. As we see the Roosters now, five inside Campbelltown City Territory. Payer to the left-hand side. Tonga High, nice fend. Can he get it out the other side? He certainly can. Jordan Tonga High leaves Matt Jones behind like a speed bump. 15 metres out from the line on the last. The referee says he lost it in the tackle. Chinese dairy farmer came to town. The referee says lost in the tackle. It'll be a scrum feed to City, 15 out from their own line. Yeah, and we've got time off, 21-25 remaining. Yeah, that's twice that uh, Tonga has yeah, made a break. 
and um, hasn't used his support runners. He's definitely, yeah, he's definitely been a handful on this left edge in the second half. But yeah, I, I agree. He could probably look, look, look for the support players as well. But uh, mate, I'd be feeding him plenty of footy if that's what he's doing to the defence. Yeah, well, Justin Smith, he scored two, um, and he's outside him and can't, um, just can't get the ball. We'll go around the grounds now, thanks to MacArthur Insulation in the Court Tavern. What's the latest, Mark Dunn? Yeah, we've got to try to the team that nobody likes. Um, so it's uh, them, 10, and the Cowboys, 6. As we see this uh, injury to uh, Riley Nahn. He's been good this year, the young centre. I can't Bruce's. believe that um, the team that nobody likes, their fullback, like movie star um, from Men in Black, how, how does Will Smith get to go from TV star or movie star to be playing fullback for Parramatta? He's like he's like Jaron Hayes. He's just living all his dreams out. Living yeah, the dream. His dreams. He's living the dream. That's it. So, uh, captain coach of the Gold Coast, um, Jared Hayne, uh, do you reckon he'll get a run with the Socceroos? <laughs> well, he's Tim Cahill's cousin. So, Is that the next I mean, dream? Yeah. Could well be the next dream. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Good friends with him, I think. Mean. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. We've got an error here from Campbelltown City. Yeah, Get back Tallulah. to the football. Tallulah puts it down. Fill me with a scrum feed. 22 metres out from the line. We're down to 21 minutes remaining. 10 points the margin in the grand final of 2017. Time off with 20.56 to go. This one's right on the right on the knife's edge in the balance. As we see uh, PJ Leafy come off, he looks exhausted. The scrum fed and won. Out of the scrum base, great defence there. Jai Karam under the rib cage. And the ball's been dropped on the first tackle. Great defence there. And it looks like that Filmy player. It's Mullaney by the looks Is of it Mullaney? Yeah, it, it, was, it was Mullaney. I thought it might have been Sutton, but it could be yeah, Mullaney. It was a bone rattler, let me tell you. That, that was that, a that beauty. Dead in his tracks. Yeah, and uh, I can tell you the first player there to um, see if he was okay was um, Big Sweeney. He was one of the Filmy uh, Kevletown City players. Yeah, Aaron Sweeney just uh, tapped him on the um, shoulder and said, you're okay, Jake. Is it a head knock or is it ribs? Or it's struggling to see there. Yeah, it's very hard from our position, but it very winded or he got a head knock. I, I, I'm so, I thought he got hit under the rib cage. It was a really good tackle. That was my initial reaction. Was under the rib cage. Uh, yeah, well, it was that good. He lost the ball. So um, great defence from um, Kingston City just after they made um, they made the mistake uh, through Tulua. We're just going to have a general caution here. I'm going to listen in. Thanks to AWPM Civil. Oh, you're right. No, you're right. I, didn't, I thought you were off. Okay, listen, listen. We're in that part of the game. The ship's starting to creep in. I don't want it. Do you understand? So we don't, you need to work hard on our promotion and all that sort of stuff. You need to go back. You've got a couple of minutes here while we treat, Jake. You need to get in their ears that the stuff like Ben and Ava plays and yelling in their face. We'll end, in, we'll, we'll end in one way, and no one here likes it. And what it does is encourages other people to run in. So you need to go back. To, you need to be both. Loco doesn't have to come in. Sweeney doesn't have to carry on. All right, go take them away, and I want to hear the call. Eddie, make sure we get that ball through. We had the discussion there from referee Sheldrick, thanks to Australian Water Project uh, AWPM Civil. I think you're looking at the difference right here. Look at Campbelltown City huddled up all together, talking about what jobs next. You got sort of Thelmy around on the field wherever they want to be on their own. So yeah, Campbelltown City know they've got a job to do here, and it's, there's still 20 minutes to go. Um, you know they've got to put in for the whole game and. and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, is that what we call him? Stone, Stone Cold, Cold Kurt Kurt Austin. We, call, we are calling Kurt Austin, all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, Stone Cold anyways, he's really got the boys in together. I think he's leading them very well, so good on him. No, he's been excellent, as has uh, Mullaney and Payer when they've uh, led the, the Roosters in uh, 2017. Uh, it's certainly a, a contentious decision to see uh, Michael Bullock named Coach of the Year for uh, 2017. Uh, it's been a, a tough season for all these clubs. I, I don't think they've named a captain of the year. Um, I think we're naming an honorary captain in our team of the year, Mr Dunn, which we need to uh, finalise uh, in the next little while. Yeah, we do need to, it announced? Yeah, we do need to finalise uh, that. I think we'll finalise that after the game tonight. Yeah, we'll, and after, a after brief you chat leave, after the game. After you leave the box, because you're, <laughs> not, you're not in my team. Oh. <laughs> it's outrageous. Sorry, uh, they're not on this side either. Surely the seven minutes I played this year <laughs> got me in. You scored a try in that seven minutes as well. Yes, so. did do well in that one game. 
Yeah, yeah J- Jabin um, L. Thanks for that, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I can tell you, um, Mulaney's up, but uh, he is not well, and so he's coming off. This will be um, a huge loss uh, for the Thormy side as they're down 18-8 uh, with 20 minutes 39 to go. Um, that's, that's I'll just, quickly, uh, yeah. sorry, Mike. Uh, no, you're I'll right. Quickly show Shannon my um, my team of the year, okay. and he can I'm run having, his eye over it. He's yeah, just, he I'm can't having a few it. gremlins here on uh, on my. I oh, know the computer is just being a little temperamental at the moment uh, with uh, with my team of the year. I know he's having a look at that right now. Um, it, it has been, as is always the case. This is the second year we've done it. It is a very contentious team. This uh, team of the year, when we name it. And uh, plenty of discussion goes into uh, who 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 is in and who is out. Yeah, well, it's just our opinion, and people. That's uh, right. Have it is purely that. it is purely the team that we have chosen as the best team from 2017. Uh, we we have named it, and uh, we're happy to, to live and die by that one. As we see, Matty Jones copying a great two-man tackle there from the Roosters. Plays back underway. 25 metres out from the Campbelltown City line. Sweeney takes it forward. Fiagatusa there. You can hear the, uh, the the players getting excited inside the last quarter of the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final for 2017. The Roosters defending 32 metres out from the Campbelltown City line. Ryan Russell into dummy half, kicks out of that position straight down the middle. Blake Sutton drops it behind him. Referee says, no, it's gone forward, it's gone forward. Here's a chance for the Kangaroos. 20 metres out from the line, inside the final 20 minutes of the grand final. This uh, is a massive call in the context of the match. I think he looked a little bit too comfortable. You can never get too comfortable under a high ball or, or any sort of kick. You get too comfortable and you relax your body a little bit and that's where, you know, something like that happens. So, um, yeah, unlucky, that's not like Blakey Sutton. I know he's great under a high ball, so um, he'll be dirty on himself. Absolutely. Yeah, they've just got to... Um, Forget about that and uh, D up here. Um, they can't let Campbelltown City score. They're, they're still down. They're only down by 10, the filmy side, so they're still in this game with 20 to go. Try here would just about put the game to bed. Aaron Sweeney at first receiver fires it out the back. Kohanui. Sweeney got up ended. Here's a chance for Joey Piano. He gets taken out. Ball goes dead. Referee says. You heard the call for AWPM Civic, penalty to City, player taken out, Joey Piato put the kick through, Shannon Gallant, you followed it, you were calling for the penalty there straight away. I mean, it didn't need to, they didn't need to do it, the kick was going dead by a mile, yeah, they, they just over, he kicked it, and it was a good second after they've thrown him over the sideline, so taking him out, and now they're going to have to defend another set of six here. The penalty to be taken. So just having the rules explained to him. But uh, even though he's taken the kick a metre in from the line and a metre out, the tap will be taken 10 metres in from touch, 10 metres out from the line. He takes that tap. Jai Karam gives it off to Raka Polru. And Raka Polru knocked down 8 metres out from the line in front of the posts at the southern end. Is this the moment? Campbelltown City seals the first great premiership for the line. It's a try to the Kangaroos. It's a try to the Kangaroos. They're celebrating on the bench. 22 points to eight the score. 17-45 remaining in the grand final. Is that the moment? Campbelltown City breaks their 30-plus year droughts. Josh Burke. Yeah, Josh Burke. Great play from uh, Josh Burke. I see on the sideline near the Roosters was at 10. Um, so is that a sign that... Um, is that a sign? But, um, yeah, great play um, from Josh Burt. Um, as we explained earlier, uh, we, had a, we had a chat to him before the game and he's, he's quietly confident. Um, and that's his second try in this grand final. He's got a good double tonight, Josh Burt, to give the Kangaroos a 14-point lead. And we've got 17 minutes to go in the grand final. Is that going to be the moment when the Premiership is decided for 2017? As we're almost at that stage now. Yeah, I think um, yeah, Dill me uh, need to score. Um, well, there's still plenty of time. There is plenty of t- there is plenty of time, but I mean, right now, if I'm looking around in that huddle, I'm looking for a guy like Jake Mullaney to stand up, and he's not there. So um, yeah, I, 
look, it's going to be tough. They can do it, but I'm just I'm, I'm not real confident. Kick is successful from Chris Williamson. He adds another to make it 24 points to eight in favour of the Kangaroos over Campbelltown City in the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final of 2017. There's 16 and a quarter minutes remaining in this one. The Kangaroos uh, have probably got one hand on the Norman L Day Cup for 2017. The kick is out on the fall from the kickoff. Out on the fall from the kickoff. That is a massive error there from the Kangaroos. They will get 50 metres. Thelmy putting it out on the full. The Kangaroos advance to halfway. That is a massive kick in the context of the season. Yeah, Coach Wilton uh, sending the instructions out there with um, uh, young Hopawati. Um, just slow the play down. They take the tap. Campbelltown City decide not to kick for, top, kick for line. They get the penalty, though. Penalty to Campbelltown Quick City. Do they take the tap? No. They decide not to. They take the tap. Matt Jones takes it forward. 35, 34 metres out from the line. They're out by 24 points to eight. 15 minutes remaining in the grand final. Joe Karam, Aaron Sweeney's gone down. Looking for a penalty. He'd get a silver logie for that performance. He's slow to his feet, though, the big man. As we see Williamson taking it forward. 22 from the line, 15 in, eastern side, working to our right. Matt Jones, been excellent tonight. Within 16 metres now, just to the left of the uprights at the southern end. What have they got here? Try here would put it to bed. Burke, Burke, nearly through the line. Five metres out on the last. They stack to the right hand side. Piado's calling for it on the wing. Comes out. Jai Karam. The little devil do you into the end goal. Has it been forced? No, it's been fallen on by Thelmere. Great work, Andy. You're jumping on that ball. That was a great effort. Figatuza fell on it for the Roosters to keep them alive. Penalty. Thelmere inside the 10. Inside the 10, the ruling. And 10 metres for descent. Yeah, let me guess. They take the tap. Uh, we'll lay a dollar one. It was Aaron Sweeney. Ball out the back. Left uh, left hand side for the city defence. Tonga High with it. They'll play it now. Fill me. 36 metres out from the line. I just think he's misunderstood. Uh, bit, like you were, bit like you were, Shannon, um, when you played. Just misunderstood by the referees. Uh. Figatusa no, plays it. They understood me quite clearly, let me tell you. <laughs> I think that was the problem. Dane Craig takes it forward over halfway. Payer, in fact, that was uh, Soleil, gives it off. Now Tovo wrestles past Stone Cold Kurt Austin, 38 metres from the line. Sloppy play the ball. Referee says no. Referee says no. Here's a chance for the Roosters. It's gone to waste, though. Campbelltown City scrum feed, 36 metres out from the line. So it's going to be a scrum feed to Campbelltown City. Yeah, half-time in the uh, Norell is um, the team that everybody loves to hate, 10, and the Cowboys, 6. That's for MacArthur Insulation and the Court Tavern, best cold pour in Campbelltown. We hear Mark Dunn's comments and Shannon Galland for MacArthur Insulation. And we hear our referees audio for AWPM Civil, our scoreboard and our major sponsor in 2017. John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, Queen Street, Campbelltown. Don't forget your 15-minute obligation-free appointment. Yeah, just talking about Queen Street, Campbelltown. I'm sure the uh, Court Tavern um, will be going off tonight. No doubt it certainly will. If the score stays like this for 12 and a half minutes, they will be celebrating well into Sunday and possibly Monday down at the Court Tavern. Sweeney's done for the night. He's off with 12 and a half minutes remaining. Gives a, a hand to the, uh, the Thelby supporters on the... Uh, on the western side of the ground as we see the kangaroos now seven meters short of halfway when he plays it they go to the left hand side they'll play it now to inside for new territory get karam up the middle good run get karam 15 in from touch on the western on the eastern side the pembroke road side of campbelltown stadium they'll play it now back to the right hand side Jai Karam, dummies, goes himself, takes on the line. He plays it 27 metres out from the line. Back to the right-hand side. The kick from Berg, up and down. 
Only makes about 10 metres. Taken by Thilmy, 18 metres out from their own line. I can't see it coming tonight. 11 and a half to go. They trail 24-8. going to be yeah, the lo longest 11 and a half minutes for Campbelltown City, but quickest for Thelmy. So they just got to hold on here. Thelmy are in a bit of trouble, but Campbelltown City can't switch off now. 11 minutes to go. They've got to really dig deep here. It should have been a penalty to um, Thelmy there. The referee and the touch judge is called number eight out from uh, Campbelltown City. I know he didn't make the tackle, but he stood right in front of um, the Thelmy player that uh, actually took the ball. So it should have been a penalty. As we see the treatment being given to the filming player, that'll be Jordan Tonga High. He's pick a pe best on ground for the night. Uh, it'll be a tough call. Mr. Dunn. No, 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 wait. He's got to be out the back. Well, it's yeah, be hard to pick. If Campbelltown run, uh, go, ahead, go on, on with this, it'll be tough to pick. Let me tell you, they've all been really great, right? Yeah, I, I'll have to toss a coin between yeah. uh, Josh Burke and Jack Karim, I think. Uh, I would lean towards Karam only just, but... But in saying that, like Stone Cold, Curdy Austin, uh, Chris Williamson, Matty Jones, um, even Sweeney um, have been fantastic. And then you look at the likes of Williamson, Austin, Jones, who have done absolutely nothing wrong. They've been rock solid in that back row. Viga who takes it forward, 15 short of halfway. I thought that was what I just said. <laughs> well, I've got a dozen things going through the mind right now. So we see Campbelltown City having to defend, five short of halfway. Leave, oh. it, al leave it alone. No, I'm just Don't. saying I'm, I am hungry. <laughs> leave it alone. There's no cows in the neighbourhood, so you're safe. I can see a chook. He says it. The Chook might have his head cut off in the next little while. He had it off before uh, when um, Josh Burke scored that last try. As we see, there's Faye Gali taking it forward for the Kangaroos, 30 metres out from the line. I'll play it now, 31 metres out centre field at the northern end. He's got a minor. Just uh, feel that for the moment. As we see the ball out the back. Jet Karam falls on it 30 metres from the line. Six, again. Six more tackles the call. Six more the call. I just think Campbelltown City's young guys have just been really great tonight, doing the hard yards, playing above their age really. Like they've just shown great experience and, and they're taking this uh, grand final in their stride really. And the uh, Campbelltown City side leading 24 points to eight. And you can hear the discussion in the background. Plenty of numbers on this right side. And they certainly have. They come back this way. PJ Leafy taking it forward. Ball's been lost. Referee says lost in the tackle. The ruling of loose carry. So the call of loose carry. You can hear the call nine minutes. That's what the clock's showing. We've got time off. Uh, just having a look down there on the left hand side. Yeah, so that might be Tonga High still stretching it out. After the scrum win, Campbelltown City having to defend once again. See what they can produce in the final nine minutes. The third near side. We pay her out the back. Blake oh, yeah. Ball goes to the hat trick. And it's going to be a hat trick to Josh Burke. He's celebrating inside the quarter. But it'll be three to Josh Burke. The Roosters look like they will lose all three grand finals in 2017. And it will be Campbelltown City 28 leading Thulmere 8 with a kick to come from mid-range on the left-hand side. I think we've got a caution here. Yeah, sorry, does it count that the ball boy scored a try on the fast in that far corner too? It's probably my son too. He's been terrible. Oh, if he's listening to this, Preston, you've been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Playing footy instead of being. <laughs> it was a good try. I, I will say that it was a great try to the uh, ball boy. He, he ran up the sideline and um, when Josh Burke was running up there and he just scored the try the same as Josh.
They're already uh, celebrating uh, the Campbelltown City supporters. Uh, even Sweeney's doing a little bit of a... Fist is that a dance? That's a fist bump. Yeah, the extra dance. <laughs> well, as we see, uh, Jai Karan coming off. And uh, that's... Um, oh, what's his name? Young uh, Kyle Edwards giving his taste of uh, grand final footy. It was 7.44 to go on the clock. I think we're having a few issues with that... Uh that scoreboard drop tonight. Yeah, I just uh, went next door and uh, fixed it up and told them what to do if it keeps happening. So. We're having a few issues there, so. Yeah, my six seconds. Yes, it's it's going down in clumps. Unfortunately, not running the like way. Like I said, it, the time would fly for filming. Well, it is flying on that clock. Um, no, it's it, every now and then, and, um, especially on a long day like today, the clock here at Campbelltown Stadium. Uh, loses its uh, signal. Uh, and it's happened again. So the conversion from Chris Williamson was successful. 30 points to 8. And we've got 7 minutes remaining in the grand final. Campbelltown City will lift the Norman L Day Cup for the first time in 34 years. Last time was here as it was known back then. Arana Park, 1983. Dangerous tackle there, surely on Stone Cold Kurt Austin. Referee says, play on for me, have it. It's uh, Jacob Loco with it, 30 metres out from the line. Soleil dummy half to the right-hand side. Finds Luke Bonnell with it. He'll play at 28 metres from the line. Out of dummy half, Soleil to Payer out the back. That's Jay Bonnell. Jay Bonnell turns it back on the inside, 23 metres from the line. Six and a quarter minutes remaining. There's Payer at first receiver, showing it, showing it, goes himself. Won't get through the line, Jones over the top, Edwards underneath, making the tackle, 13 metres out. Less, nice little show and go there, Jack Green, he's had a quiet game tonight, Green. Five metres out from the line on the last tackle, Fought 10 in from touch. Back to Payer for the little dab kick, it's fallen on by Matt Jones, and it's going to be a little knock on there from Jones as he fell on it. He's free, will rule a scrum to Thurlmere. 10 metres out from the line, 20 in from touch, western side at the northern end. Five and a half minutes remaining in the grand final, it's 30 points to eight. And there's a knock on from the first. I think the game's probably winding down to its... Conclusion here, Liam Fulton starting to celebrate on the bench with his support staff and players here at Campbelltown Stadium. As we mentioned, 34 years since they last won a premiership in first grade or, or the top grade. 1983, here at Arana Park when they beat Mossvale, I think it was, in the grand final. A little bit of, uh, no, I thought there was a little bit of afters there with Fia Gattuso, but it's broken up very quickly. As we see the Kangaroos breaking through the line once again. Williamson down the eastern side of the field. It's a pace for a back row, do not he? Surprisingly quick. Has played in the backs. And I think he's gone down with cramp. Hopefully that's all it is. He has stopped with uh, 4.26 remaining on the clock. Around the grounds from MacArthur Insulation in the Court Tavern. Mark Dunn, what's happening at Homebush? Uh, you can buy a Ryobi line trimmer for sixty-eight dollars, and some glass laminate for bench top for seventy-five dollars, and a storage container for seven ninety-eight. Uh, all that Bunnings. Thank you. Um, still half time, mate. Still half time. Thank you. Yes, right under the bus there, front and centre under the bus. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> he has well and truly lost it, folks. Hey, four, four minutes to go, and I'm speechless. <laughs> Front and centre, the driver puts me right under the bus. Thank you very much. That'll, that'll get noted for 2018. Yeah, um, just want to pass on my congratulations to my good old mate down there, the two bald headed fellas in Liam Fulton um, and Alex Melville. Yes. Um, great job, along with uh, Chris Noonan. And also uh, Brian Brown, the... Uh, the, the president of uh, Campbelltown City, they've done an excellent job this year. Yeah, Congratulations great. to them. Yeah, great movie, uh, Cocktail too. <laughs> it's well and truly deserved this uh, premiership win. It's gotten a little bit scrappy here. Six more for Campbelltown City. Matt Jones has it, 30 metres out. It's been stripped and it's going to be a penalty for two in the tackle. Penalty for two in the tackle. 
You can hear the uh, crowd celebrating here at Campbelltown Stadium inside the last three and a half minutes of the grand final. Yeah, some people will say stay away from the court tavern tonight, but uh, others will be going to go to the courty. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, sponsors of... Uh, Proud sponsors of the Kangaroos for many, many years. The yeah, they're also um, sponsoring us uh, here today, Mark. Yes, providing our stats. Thank you to the team at the Court Tavern. You can see Alex Melville down there celebrating on the bench as the Kangaroos, 18 metres out from the line inside the final three minutes of the grand final. Campbelltown City will claim the first great premiership in 2017. And congratulations to them as we see the Kangaroos now 13 metres out. Can they light the candles and ice the cake with the cherry on top and one more? Burke has three tonight. He's been outstanding for the Kangaroos in an excellent performance from the City 5'8". The Chinese dairy farmer makes one last appearance in 2017 as we see the Kangaroos within four or five metres of the line. That'll be tackle four when he's eventually stopped. Five now the call. There it is. Last tackle, two metres out from the line. This game well and truly beyond doubt now. Edwards, flat ball, Leafy, pops it out through the hands, running onto it. Oh, and Austin was through, but it's gone forward. I hope that uh, that try there wasn't for uh, to get him off the nutty run because um, I thought that was play on there for Stone Cold, Curly Austin. I'm sure he's got at least one to his name this year, Stone Cold. Uh, I'm sure he would have at least one to his name. So I think he would be safe. Some of the others may not, but uh, he certainly would as we see. Uh, Soleil pop it out the back for Phil Mir. A little bit of afters between Soleil and Edwards. Phil Mir still with Only going to be one winner there. And it won't be Tiger Edwards. It won't be little Kyle Edwards. No, don't worry about the little fellas. They, they misunderstood um, the inside private eyes. Hey, if, uh, if size mattered, the elephant would be the king of the jungle, not the lion. As we see Payer putting a kick over the top. Steve Fogel oh, stands true. up. I can see the uh, Campbelltown faithful being led by Alex Melville singing the club song, leading the uh, celebrations down on the touchline, even though there's still a minute and ten remaining. They've already started the party down there. Chris Williamson on the touchline, standing next to Kurt, to uh, Coach Liam Fulton and Aaron Sweeney. They know they've got the job done now. Yeah, it's good celebrate. to see all the coaches here too. I can see the under 18 coach there, the reserve grade coaches here. And I'm sure that uh, Curdy Mangan... Yes, I know uh, Kurt and uh, uh, Captain Mel. Coach Mel Island were going to be here for the uh, the main game tonight. We were hoping to have Mel in commentary for the league tag grand final, but unfortunately she had other commitments today. But she uh, certainly said that she would be here for the, uh, the main game tonight. 30 seconds remain. Campbelltown City 30, Philmere 8. Edwards drives it into touch. Does it find the line? No, it doesn't. Justin Smith ta tackled only three metres out from the line. As we see the filmy Roosters working out of their own end. It'll be a long trip back to the Wallandilly tonight for the Roosters. None from three on grand final day. Last year yeah, it was Picton. This year watch his bench celebrate down here in the uh, blue and gold. The countdown is on. You'll hear it in the background. There's the whistle. That's the fastest Cam I've seen Sweeney run. Campbelltown City um, have to, won. Uh, celebrate with his teammates. Campbelltown City have won the grand final of 2017. They have defeated Thilmy 30 points to 8. A 34-year drought is over for the Blue and Golds. They are the number one team in Group 6 in 2017. A great effort from the Campbelltown City side to claim the Premiership and the Norman L Day Cup for the first time in over three decades. What a result for the Kangaroos. Yeah, great result. Um, I'm, I'm shocked like everybody else, especially with the score line, uh, 30 points to 18. Um, as you can see, the Thilmy plays, uh, they're scattered all over the ground. Um, you know, as we see them uh, shaking hands um, with the Camertown City Kangaroos players. Um, great sportsmanship there. Um, we might take a break, uh, Mike, and come back for the wrap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dave Fenner from uh, the Bargo Sports Club, who will be making the presentation to the players. But before we get underway, I'd like to invite Trent Potty to present the referee's medal in memory of John Ebert. So, uh,
in the guy I could uh, call up Aaron Shodrick, Jack McGrath and Alex Ward and Pete Till and Mark Brown to uh, receive their medals for the officiating today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the referees and the officials. They did a fantastic job today. Say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and make some noise for the Campbell Town City Kangaroos. Yeah. 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 